comes after that. That's right. That's right. But just like I said, I'm not the keynote speaker, um, yes, and I don't want to be long because we have to get out here at a certain time. So at this time, I want to bring on our local representative, the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan, here in the city of Savannah. And I want to bring him on with a hearty round of applause so we can go ahead and get Brother Mr. Abdul Rahman Muhammad up on the roster to bring us um, this lesson that he's going to bring today. So at this time, I'd like to bring on Brother Minister Prince Muhammad.
sister. Thank you, sister. Assalamu alaikum. Well, thanks a lot, sister. In the name of Allah, the beneficent and most merciful, all praise and do so long, the Lord of the world, and master of this day of judgment in which we now live. Brother Prince asked me to summarize the spirit of the Million Woman March, in my opinion. On October the 25th, 1997, history was again recorded with the Million Woman March, as it was also recorded March, I'm sorry, on October the 16th, 1995, with the Million Man March. Although it was raining that day, the sisters were there by the hundreds of thousands. I believe it was about one and a half million people. It was a really, it was really a day unlike any other day for the sisters. Just being blessed by Allah to be there in the midst of such powerful and beautiful black women as Sister Khadija Farrakhan, Sister Tanella Muhammad, Sister Wendy Mandela, Sister Ava Muhammad, Sister Dorothy Height, Sister Maxine Waters, and others, including actress Jada Pickett. They were all there. I had all my sisters with me that were there. There was praying there, singing, drummers, food, creative dancing, and vendors that were selling items that complemented the event. Sisters, we also have our Million Woman March theme song that is very, very beautiful, and it was introduced at the march. There was a lot of excitement there. All the speakers that spoke, they spoke with an uplifting and positive message. And the overall event was blessed by Allah to remain peaceful. And I also have here um, the Philadelphia Daily News. Mm -hmm. And it has the official program of the Million Woman March, if anyone would like to see it later. So I leave you, as I came before you, with the nation greeting words of peace and paradise. Oh, assalamu the spirit of the Million Woman March. Because, as well we all know, there, there's but one God and there's not but one spirit. Yes, right. And that is the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And the same spirit that moved over the hearts and minds of over two million black men October the 16th, 1995. It was that same God and that same spirit that moved over the hearts and minds of over one million black women at the Million Woman Mark, October the 25th, 1997. So we thank God for blessing us with another successful event. This ought to prove to black people that it's our time. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. This ought to prove to black people beyond the shadow of a doubt that God has come. That's right. And that he is now choosing the despised and the rejected. He is choosing a people who is considered as no people at all. He's choosing you. He's choosing me for his glory. All we have to do is be right in that. If we are right today, right down to the modern time, everything that the black man and woman wants today, God will bless you. See, he will bless you now. Because now he has come now to pass the baton of life over to you. But he can't pass it to you in the condition in which you are in. Right. You have to go through a process of change. Is that right? Yes. And there's but one day in the hell of North America today is teaching change. And that's the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. That's right. I'm telling you today is not the one premier leader among the black family and the human family today. And that's the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. I know what you hear on your television stream. I know what you read in the newspaper. I know what you're being taught in your other houses of uh, religion today, that God uh, moved and blessed many people. But it wasn't like that yesterday. During the days of Jesus, he didn't bless a whole bunch of people with leadership. He only blessed Jesus. Is that right? Yes, sir. 
during the days of um, Moses, he didn't go around blessing everybody. He only blessed it. Moses. Is that right? So I ain't on the days of Prophet Muhammad. He didn't tell everybody to come get a blessing. He gave it to Prophet Muhammad. And all of those who follow Prophet Muhammad received the same blessing that God gave him. Is that right? I'm telling you today that you don't have a whole gang of leaders. They put one leader today for the human family. And that's the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. That's right. You better get acquainted with this man. You better get acquainted with this man. You better pick up the message uh, uh, to a black man again. Right. You better go back and read, Our Savior has arrived again. You better go pick up the fall of America or torchlight for America or this is the one you don't need enough. You better re-examine the message of the young boy, Elijah Muhammad, if you want to be saved. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, death has entered the house of America. That's right. right. I'm telling you, death has passed over all of us. Brother, you didn't know death came in your house? When you picked up that bill last night, oh, you, didn't, you, you, you didn't know that death came into your house when you phoned a kid with a guy next door and a girl around the street. You, you didn't know that, did you? You didn't know that everything that you do today that is against God is going to be your downfall. I'm telling you, you got to reform. And there was one thing to do reform today, and that's Barbara. That's right. right. Brothers, you can come listen to me anytime here at 1401, but we got some powerful speakers right today. Yes, sir. So we're going to move the program along. Right. Is that right? Yes, sir. I have a beautiful young man that I've heard spoke once or twice, and he's a pleasure to listen to, brothers and sisters. I have Brother Charles, Brother Minister Charles Muhammad. He was a former minister in Augusta, but he'll come before you and share all of that with you. So at this time, brothers and sisters, would you help me to bring on this humble servant of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan as he tries to serve God? Would you help me by clapping and putting your hands together and help me to bring on Brother Minister Charles Muhammad? Bring him on. Brother Charles Muhammad. Praise God, sir.
we have conditions to minister Farrakhan in several ways. And I want to share with you several things from different perspectives because as Muslims, he has told us all that we are laborers. That's right. That's right. And I went and called to get directions. I specifically asked for the officials and just to get the response of whoever it was on the phone. So let us remember that the officials are in the administrative capacity of the month. But we are all late. That's right. But we haven't really grasped what that means yet. <laughs> because we, we, we're still trying to figure out what, how can I be a laborer and the four officials be laborers at the same time? Now, I guess I just want you to bear with me a second because I'm trying to bring a point to the believers before I actually get into the few words that I want to say to you all too. When the young Lewis Farrakhan put us on a course of study, as well as with the study that we encompass with the Holy Quran, the Bible, the Supreme Wisdom, and all of the things we're given as Muslims to study. We are receiving this study for a reason. Sure, we know the reason is to go out and reach our people, but once we reach them, what are we to do with them? Are we just to teach them our version or our interpretation of what Islam means to us? No, sir. Are we to teach them what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's interpretation was? Go ahead. Now that sort of threw a little curve to the thing because we're not representing ourselves, but we're representing him and the Honorable Lewis Park. That's right. But how can we represent them when we don't have a clear understanding of what that teaching means to us? Yes, go ahead. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. See, the teaching is abstract. It's absolute. It's a knowledge that you can try to challenge, but the truth will stand once you challenge that not. That's right. But your interpretation of that teaching, what it means to you and how it made you become what you are today, is a whole other story. Because, see, Brother Charles can tell you what Islam means to him. And it may capture some of the, the brothers or some of the sisters in the audience. But when another brother stands here and tells you what it means to him, it may be a whole other time. That's right. And it may capture a whole different amount of people. Not the same, but different. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So when Brother Prince comes here, he gives you his understanding of it. And he gives you his understanding of how he accepted Islam. When Brother Charles or any speaker comes up here, they're giving you their understanding of why they accepted Islam. Yes, sir. But the minister told us we were all late. We're so that means something. That means each and every one of us have a responsibility. Now, I've never been to Savannah as long as I'm going to be here today. But I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of work that needs to be done for That's our people. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. So, in analyzing that, I said to myself, well, you can only invite so many people to the mosque. Is that right? Yes, sir. So you can fish all week, all day. Only so many people going to fit in. But Islam is universal. So there's a whole city of black people that even if they wanted to come if the mosque was packed, they couldn't get in. That's true. So that means we got to take the word to the people. Right. Now, how do we do that? Go ahead. Now, I'm going to spend a minute more on this. Go ahead. And then I'm going to move on to the next things I want to say before we bring our, our keynote. I currently joined the Atlanta Local Organizing Committee over about several months ago. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted that arm of the Nation of Islam, which it is, to serve as a focal point to bring all of the black community together. Mm -hmm. To show them the power of the man we call the Honorable Lewis Park. That's right. Now, you, you're going to always have different organizations representing different things for the liberation of our people. But how are they going to be rightly guided after years of trying to guide our people and we're still in the condition that we're in? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. How can the SCLC guide black people when they've had all these years to do it and we're still in this condition? Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is we need to take our minister's lead mm -hmm. And go into the different organizations and lend our support and lend our ideas. That's right. How can you be yes, a sir. leader?
for the nation of Islam in your own right. That's if you're right. gonna go out amongst your people That's and right. say, look, this is what the young people are. Right. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> Everybody out here is trying to raise our people in their own way, in their own sincere way. That's right. And even when they don't know that they don't have the 100% correct way, they will still try. But you have to take what you are being given in these walls, in the lessons, in the books, in the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and show them why it is correct. And then show them how to get on the correct path and all of us help our people. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So this is why the Holy Day of Atonement is such a, a revolutionary thing. We take it as a day. Or even if we try to define it as the grace period, we don't know how to do that because we're just learning it ourselves. But it's revolutionary in a sense because it's showing us how to turn ourselves back to God and inherit that power. Yes, sir. That has never been done in the annals of history. Because all of the time history that you know is under the rule of another God. That's right. You didn't hear me. Come on, brother. As much history as you can remember or learn is the history of another God. Think about it. As you'll probably hear, as I'm sure our keynote will hint to, the God of this world is called Yaku. That's right. That's right. That's right. You don't know him because they don't say his name as that. You don't know him because the history that we're under, you think it's the white man. But you don't know who the author of that man was. And you'll learn more about that today. But what I'm saying is the Holy Day of Atonement is revolutionary and that is going to turn the whole world into the worship of God. And the reason you're so important is because you're being placed in the position of being the rulers of that world. That's right. That's right. You don't right. Even know. All you're asked to do is study. Mm -hmm. Try to submit yourself to the order of God, which is called Islam. And that just don't mean being a Muslim. Because Christians can be Muslims. That's right. If they obey in God. That's right. So when someone comes to you and lends you an ear to negativity concerning the Holy Day of Atonement or the Million Woman March, that should set off a state of war in you. That's right. You shouldn't tolerate people coming to you saying, ah, oh, the Holy Day of Atonement. Man, you should literally go to war right then and there. Yeah. Yeah. When a sister stands up saying, bringing you the spirit of the Million Woman March, you should stand up at attention, man, and bring that state of war in you and say, nobody right. is going to stop this. That's right. Because everybody's going to feed you the image that is not grown. That's right. But when you can have 17,000 in Chicago, six to 7,000 in Atlanta, in every major city across the country, and it not show throughout the media the power of that day, That's right. they're Ooh. telling you that they're at war with you. They don't want you to know that God is back in the land. That's right. And you need to go to war with that spirit. That's right. That's right. And let them know that the Holy Day of Atonement will keep going into the future. That's the million right. women that stand up lend support to that and makes it even more power. Right. So don't stand down on your post. That's right. Stand up. That's right. Try and tell you something different. That's you're right. in a divine time. You're in a divine day. The years that you see ahead is not like any other time in the creation of the universe. I want you to think about just that one statement when you go home tonight. The next five years of your life is not like any other time since the creation of God Amen. Himself. That's right. That's right. Think about how powerful that statement is. And then I want you to think about Louis Farquhar. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. I want you to think hard about it. And I want you to think about your life right now and think about him. And think about all of the opposition that he gets. And look at it. And then I want you to think about the little opposition that you think you got. And think about it. And ask yourself and ask God to give you the power that he has to crush your opposition mm. in righteousness and watch how God moves in your life. I'm saying it because I'm a witness. I'm a witness of that same spirit. And if you ask the same God that Louis Farrakhan asked to back him, to back you, in your small endeavor,
to make you powerful, you'd be surprised in 30 days how powerful you have become. That's right. And I say that because I want you to hear from a man today who has walked that road for more years than some of us have been born. That's right. I have sat with a man that was taught by directly by God. And see, some of us, we hear that, and it's cliche, it's around the nation right now. To say the man sat directly with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Some of us hear that, yeah, we already know that. No, we don't understand that. That's right. To actually sit with a man that sat face to face with God. That's right. Come on, man. Listen. Think about that. Yes, sir. To sit at the footstep of a man that learned everything he knew directly from God. That's right. And I know some of us haven't come into the understanding of believing that a man can actually be God. But listen to what this man says to you today. That's right. And ask yourself. Could Albert Einstein come up with it? Mm -hmm. Could Aristotle come up with it? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Could George Bush come up with it? No, no, no sir. No. Could they have thought of the science that he will teach you today? And no, when he sir. finishes, I want you to ask yourself, and then think about the things that have been said today, and then ask yourself, how many have I touched? Go ahead. Ask yourself, am I doing what I really need to be? Ask yourself, have I applied the supreme wisdom given to me specifically, directly by God? Ask yourself that when you leave today. And I guarantee you, if you apply what you think within 30 days, you'll see a difference in your life. That's right. I ain't talking about no spooky difference or I grew spiritually. I'm talking about physical. I'm talking about more money. I'm talking about a whole different realm that some of us have not explored. So listen closely. And think and pray. I thank you all for allowing me this opportunity. I greet you all again in green world. Thanks, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir.
when Brother Minister Lucius uh, was here? Yes, sir. Y'all was here when Brother Minister Lucius was here, the making man. Yes, so y'all don't understand that Brother Minister Rockmouth was the making man captain. He was Brother Captain Samuel Friet. He was legendary as a captain of the Asian right. And under the tutelage of Brother Minister Lucius, he became a minister. Right. He became a minister in 1968. And after he had been under the tutelage of Brother Minister Lucius for one year, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad sent him to Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. He said, go to work, Brother Muhammad. You got what you need now. Go help me establish this farm in the South. Brother Minister Rockmont traveled to the South. And he came up against the same opposition that you and I can't comes up against right now here in the city of Savannah. Well, just think of the opposition that he came up against in 1969. Mm. They were killing and still hand niggas for talking that freedom ring stuff. Yeah. Brother Minister Rockmont was a soldier. That's right. He met and overcome insurmountable obstacles to be the man that he is today. Under his leadership, don't you know that Atlanta became one of the well-known, well-established mosques in the whole nation? Right. Under Brother Minister Rockmar's leadership, don't you know he had schools in Atlanta, real schools, that they still got now on Camerton Road? Right. Is that right, Brother Minister? He still got them on Camerton Road, the school that he started. He, Brother Minister Rockmar had buses that were carrying the believers here and, and, and far to be able to do this great work of resurrection and salvation for our people. And just like everyone else, when the nation, when our leader left, when our father left, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he went to sleep like everybody else. Yeah. But under the call and the battle of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, he called him and said, Rock Mother. And looked like a true soldier he is. He heard him and he obeyed him. Is that right? Yeah. Now, Brother Minister Rockmount is on his second tour. Right. He is scouring the South now, helping our regional minister, Brother Minister Jamil Muhammad, raise the dead once again. Because once you become a soldier in the ranks of God, you never stop soldiering until it's over. That's right. I heard that old song say it ain't over until the fat day say. Yeah. Well, she hadn't sung yet to rock rock. That's right. He is still soldier on the battlefield. Yeah. And I'm going to bring him before you right now. Are you ready to hear from the rock? Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you. Are you ready to hear? That's right. And on top of that, the God 
that they worship favors the enemy. That's right. right. Huh? That's sad, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Yes, sir. For you to be black and have suffered at the hands of white people to have a white God. That's right. right. That's sad. That is. When you go in anybody's house today, you see a cracker on the wall. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Claiming to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. Huh? Absolutely. And when we make these truths plain to our people, they call it hate teaching. Mm -hmm. huh? That's right. Huh? It's hated all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's right. hated by those <clears throat> huh? That's right. that we are talking about that perpetrated the lie. That's, That's right. right. That's I hate it too. That's right. If I told you a lie like that, somebody came along and exposed me, I hate you too. And tell the world, you you teach your hate on me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that's what I'm going to do. But that's the only defense I got. That's right. Because you and I have been the recipients of hate. So when we say somebody hates somebody, we don't be shy away from them, but we know what hate does. That's right. We know the, we know the feeling of what hate has done to us. Yeah, that's right. So when the white man said, we hate him, you don't want to be bothered with that because you know the feeling. That's yes, right. Sir. And they'll make you feel like we ain't right because when you think we hate the white man. Yeah. I ain't got time to hate the white boy. No, sir. No, sir. I'm too busy loving you. No, that's yeah, right, sir. That's I wish I could. 
But if what he has done to you, brother, and you don't hate him now, I'd be like a two-bit chump trying to make you hate him. That's right. That's right. That's right. I would. I'd be like a fool trying to make you hate a cracker right. that you should hate in the beginning. That's, That's right. right. That's right. I've been wasting my time. Yeah. That's right. Time. So let's not waste no time. That's right. That's, That's right. 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 That's right. We're the people of God. That's right. That's most important. That's right. To know who you are today. See, you don't know who you are. That's our problem. Yeah. We will be unified right now throughout the country if we recognize who we are. That's right. We call ourselves Afro Americans. Mm. <laughs> Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. <laughs> Baptists. Mm-hmm. Methodists. Yeah. Uh, Saints in Christ. Yeah. Under Christ. Yeah. Right of Christ. Side of Christ. Right. On top of Christ. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Muslim. Yeah. Valerian. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Top of the dead. Yeah. Sunni. Yeah. Uh, we say everything to who we are, but don't really know who we are. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah, so God has come himself yeah, to right. teach us who we are. You're not none of these names you've been calling yourself. That's right. Huh? By nature, you're a righteous Muslim. Yes, That's sir. Right. And you, your nationality is Asiatic. That's right. right. Huh? You're Asiatic. What do you mean, Asiatic, brother Rockman? Come on. I ain't got no slant eyes. <laughs> I'm not no Asian. Yet you're the original Asian. That's right. That's right. Huh? Yeah. Japanese and Chinese people came after yeah. you did. That's, That's right. right. Yes, sir. You the mother and father of them all. That's oh. right. Man, when I learned that, I, I, I took wings. That's right. You mean I'm the first man on God's earth? The black man is yeah. vice? Go ahead. That's not me, I gave you the love of that. Yes, sir. The love that I'm not no cousin? Second cousin or third cousin of God? Love that I'll be the immediate family of God. That's right. That's heavy. To know you not you you're just like God of a father and you his first child. That's, That's right. 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 Huh? You his second child, third child, all those big facts. Of four billion, four hundred million people. Yeah. Right. And we the immediate family of God. This tribe right here in America, the tribe of Shabbat. That's right. We God's family. We're the oldest people on the planet Earth. That's yeah. right. We're the people on Earth that discovered the best part of the Earth to settle on That's right. when the moon was black. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 66 trillion years, years ago. Go ahead. Right. Right. Yeah, say I'm 
know these children ain't no good. No, but I can't help it. <laughs> Is that right or wrong? Yeah. Right. Cool, never change. Yes, sir. Praise be to Allah. The Lord of the world. That's right. That's right. God, all right. right, now give you some more clue. Prove them. Come on. Come on. They asked Jesus of the Bible. The end come. Go ahead. He said, no man knows the hour. Go ahead. Not even the angels of heaven. He said, but as it was in the days of oh, Noah. Yes, sir. And as it was in the days of suffering go by. So shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. That's right. Finally, he said, wheresoever the carcass is. That's right. Yeah, shall the eagles be here. Yes, this one, he said, as light shining from the east, That's right. eagerly unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Is he right? Yes, yes sir. So, full second, the black man in America is the God. Yes, That's sir. Right. And the white man knew the eagle. That's his son. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, yes. But you know the characteristics of the two people. Mm -hmm. We are dead. That's right. right. We face it. Yes. <laughs> Our people are dead. That's, That's right. right. Mentally. That's, That's right. right. They don't know themselves, so they're dead. Come That's on. right. They walk around in America with amnesia, so they describe in the Bible as caucus. That's, That's right. right. What is a caucus? A dead body. Yeah. Come on. Right. What else is a, what else is a definition for caucus? The remains of that which was sent. Right. We once was a great people. That's right. Huh? And we the remains of it now, like a skeleton. That's right. Huh? Like dry bones in a valley. Yes, That's right. With no life in them. We were riding and raising hell in the valley on Friday, Saturday night, but ain't no life. That's right. Is that right or wrong? That's right. That's right. Because the breath of God, the spirit of God, is not on us. That's right. So the Bible describes us as conquerors. That's right. Which is a description of the people. That's and right. then it says, That I tell the eagles be gathered. Yes, right. And the white man used the eagle as his symbol. That's right. Mm -hmm. What kind of bird is an eagle? Go ahead. An eagle is a bird of prey. That's right. right. Okay. It scooped down out of his high mountain, mm -hmm. slapped them big wings, got them big claws, <laughs> and kept the little fortunate bird, scoop him up in his. In his claw, in stealing him, ran in flight. That's right. Now uh, he, the victim, ran in flight. That's right. That's right. Swallowed his victim up. That's right. So we have the white man swallowed you and I up. That's, That's right. right. We're the Jonah in the belly of the whale. That's, That's right. right. Uh, we're not Jonah. That's right. And we're going to stay in this cracker's belly until you come to your senses like Jonah came to his senses. That's right. right. That's right. 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 The cracker got you as long as you're a blind, deaf, and dumb, so called Negro. That's right. right. He wants you like that. That's right. But Jonah got out of the belly of where when he turned to his God. That's right. I got out. Parents got out. Child, prince, and all these other brothers got out. That's right. When they turned to their God. That's right. His sisters got out when they turned to their God. That's right. Now uh, there was fish. Right. The cracker got to throw you up on dry land. Because right. you don't serve him or worship him anymore. That's right. You can That's right. There. Hey, there's no God but the Lord. That's right. That's right. And my mama gets this message. That's, That's right. right. The cracker got to give you up. That's right. That's right. So as long as you serve him, he's your master. That's, That's right. right. You got to cut it loose. You got to let it go. That's right. Right. You got to cut the, the neighbor cord, mm -hmm. the biblical cord. Yes, sir. You got to let it go. Wake us up. As long as you hold on to him, he's going to suck your blood. That's right. right. Huh? He's going to be like the eagle. The eagle has got you in his claw, feeling in you. Strip your bone completely out of there and you <laughs> live on yes, it. You have a damn dish right. That's right. right. There's no fight left in you at all. You. That's you. right. That's right. No fight. You leave, God, white man. That's right. Teacher no. Book said, Say, Daniel said, I saw a beast rise up on land and water with three ribs of a man in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, three ribs and eat all the flesh off of the man. All the substance gone. Right. Name gone, language gone, religion gone, God gone, flesh gone, native land gone. That's right. Just ribs. Yeah, yeah. Beast and eat all the flesh off of it. That's right. For 300 years it was enslaved, the white 
there was eating off it. That's right. right. Huh? Turn to the slavery wheel. Come out of the slavery wheel. Drive, get them dog. That's, That's right. right. They know nothing. That's so right. like a handle or a quadruped on the field. That's right. The beast did the thing he wanted with us. He made me go into the I ever woman that I could go into. He made me a big buck. That's right. Huh? Now the main fornication is in me and you today. That's yeah. right. You can't be satisfied with one beautiful woman we want them all. That's, That's right. right. White man breathed it all into us. That's right. And then he breathed them all into us. And we have children in our house and today we pregnant the woman and leave. That's, That's right. right. Doing right. the same old thing we've done in slavery. That's, That's right. right. Filled our womb up with children and the white man taking care of them. That's right. Uh, but our spinal is still laid behind today. We do the same thing and leave the woman hanging. That's right. Because uh, the white man going to feed her like he fell in slavery. That's yeah. right. He, she got to humiliate herself and go downtown to a food stamp line. That's right. Going to do a spineless nigga. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead. The masses of the people have never known who God was. That's 
about people have took a tree for God. Right? People have taken the sun to be God. People have taken the Indian to take a cow to be God. Huh? They worship everything, fishes to be God. But Elijah Muhammad said, God is the Asiatic black man. Now, you know nobody don't want to hear that. So nobody want to hear that for the black man. That's right. Come on. And some black man love white man so much, don't want to hear it either. That's, That's right. right. Come on. Is that right or wrong? That's right. right. Lying to man to call you a Negro. Yeah. I'd rather be called a nigga than to be called a Negro. That's right. right. You don't even believe what I just said. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I said, I'd rather be called a nigga. Come on. Than to be called a Negro. What do a nigga mean? Go ahead. Low life and person. Is that what a dictionary says? That's right. right. Now what do Negro mean? Go ahead. Negro means dead. That's right. <laughs> now I don't know these low life men to be dead. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we don't see, see how foolish we are. Yes, sir. Why do they call her, hey, Negro? Yes, I got it, got it. Six 
hundred million miles from the sun. That's right. Come on. You on it? A hundred million years. Yes, sir. You on it? Like this little rock in the sun. Mm -hmm. Plateau stands four billion six hundred million miles from the sun. That's right. That's way out there. That's way out there. And she traveled in one thousand. Did she? 
sent kingdoms that made the world out of the wilderness. You know what a wilderness is? You know what a wild game is. Yes, sir. Huh? What you have in America? A wilderness. Where wild activity goes on. Yes, sir. Uh, where orgies take place. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a wilderness. Yes, sir. Where there's no respect for God. Uh -huh. That's a wilderness. Yeah. Huh? That made the earth as a wilderness and destroyed the cities. They are. That opened not the house of his prison. Tell me who is that? If there ain't a white man, I'll take you outside on that street, barbecue you right now, <laughs> and eat you alive. <laughs> You're not a prisoner, and he ain't never opened the house up to That's him. right. He destroyed the cities that are there, burned every nation of the earth that opposed him. That's right. Is that right or wrong? Yes, sir, that's right. Uh, he destroyed cities, nations, and he ascended above the clouds with his flames. That's right. right. He would put his star, his throne, along the star. Think about it. When he got to the moon, he carried old hell with him, didn't he? Yes, sir. What he called old glory. That's right. The stars and the bars, all the right. stripes, and planted his flag on the moon. It's all written here. Yes, sir. And you know who wrote it? We did. Yes, sir. We saw what the white man was going to do for the king, because we made it. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Right. Huh? Yes, Think about it. So don't give him all this. Accolations for his achievement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I made mean, his right behind. That's right. Oh, that's right. We made it. That's right. Right. Huh? Yes, sir. I ain't gonna give him more credit than you give his makeup. Come on, come on, come on, brother. Huh? Break it down. All of the great things he have done, he was a dummy to master for Rod Muhammad King. That's, that's right. right. A dummy. That's yeah. Right. Walk around in the room, he didn't know platoon was out there. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Rod Muhammad does another pun out there. Where? Where? So keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. That's right. Right. Back to the right in the hurry, turn it over the black tube. That's, That's right. right. It's that. He's such an idiot, he called it Pluto. Yeah. All right. Huh? Pray to be told, uh, all right. He made the earth as a wilderness. He weakens nations. How does he weaken a nation? He go into a country with his color turned back. That's right. He got the Bible in his hand. That's yeah. right. Turn the people to Christ. That's right. Our Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That's, That's what it is. Right. That's it. And make them Christians. That's right. So that we can come on. Mm -hmm. Bring the vision here. Here's a country of losing. They, he, they, he got Christianity in there. So it weakens the nation. That's, That's right. right. He was a Buddhist nation. He bring his Christianity in there. Where everybody was starts Buddhist and righteous, huh, they weakened the nation. Because where Christianity go, bloodshed come. That's, That's right. right. Break out. Right. Ball break out. Vices come. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. He gets you liberal thinking about, you know, it's all right but, uh, to drink a little bit. Uh -huh. He gets you thinking like that. It's all right. A little cocaine is okay. Okay. Huh? That's right. A little fornication is all right. Ain't nobody right. And he breaks he break the people down. That's right. right. To That's indulge right. in his film. That's right. To make the nations weak. Yeah. You teach it now. He destroyed the cities there. That's, That's right. right. Come on. And he opened not the house of his prison. Mm -hmm. Now you can't say he has not been his prison. Yeah. You can't say you can rub all home free. Free what? <coughs> free in a nigga's neighborhood. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Leave that neighborhood and go to white neighborhood and call yourself free. That's all right. right. Walking right. one of the white joints. That's right. You know what you get there. Speak on it. And all that butter in around you, boy, you get drowned in that butter. That's right. The cracker don't want you, man. That's right. Integration's supposed to be on the scene today. <coughs> After 30 years of Martin Luther King marching and going on, they have integrated the schools and the white folks take flight to the to, to, to the suburbs. That's, That's right. right. All the white children go to black schools and white black children go, they can't get out. Everybody else gone. That's right. So nobody want to be around you now. Uh -huh. That's, right. Right. Uh -huh. That's right. But now they, they see the fact coming. God is plaguing the land. That's right. Yes, Come on. 15 feet of snow fell in Denville a couple of weeks ago. You know that. Now it doesn't look taste. Hmm. And the Bible said, God, have you considered the snow and the ice? 
That's right. 
because he got to bring his hip to get my hip. That's right. right. I ain't gonna count up and say, don't shoot, Kirk. I'm gonna meet him. That's right. right. Yes. <laughs> he fixed it so I had 
swine. Yes, sir. I said, the cracker didn't only make us to feed of the swine. He made us eat the swine. That's right. right. Well, that's right or wrong. That's, that's right. right. Then he went and said, a man went from Jericho, from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell upon the thief. That's right. That's right. They stripped him of all his clothes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Stripped him and left him dead, half dead. Stripped him of his name, his language, his history, and his culture. Left him bad and nobody had any mercy on him. That's right. The book said the priest came that way. Yeah. Peeped on him, walked by on mm -hmm. the other side. That's right. The Levi saw him. Oh, two dead walked by on the other side. But then the great Samaritan, that's America now. Right. Samaritan. <laughs> Johnny that way. Johnny that way, Solomon, who had fell around the thieves and picked him up. All right. Healed his wound. That's right. And pulled it off. Right. And took him to the air house as a tin can. And I will repay thee when I return. That's a description of what happened to a people that one man. That's right. The Lazarus at the gate made him a crumbs. And the dogs felt sorry for the Lazarus and licked his soul. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's a description of a people that one person. That's right. That's why the black man misunderstands the Bible. That's right. It's a people that we misunderstand. Praise be to Allah, the Lord, and the, the Holy Quran says it like this. The Pharaoh's wife says a warning to the believer. I'm the big man march. Pharaoh's wife says, Oh, my mom! Listen, listen. Let me build a house in Yoka. Deliver me from these negative people. Pharaoh's wife said that right. in the Holy Quran. That's right. That's right. With Lot's wife and Noah's wife. Part of the book was given unto the these righteous servants, and they act treacherously toward these righteous men. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now don't think about no woman. He's talking about a nation of people. All right. That's right. Huh? A nation of people acting treacherously against the man of God. Father God had two million men to stand up and watch it. And these niggas, the people, act treacherously. Against water. Right. Oh, I like the mods, but the man who call it, I don't like it. <laughs> How are you going to separate the collar from the jewel? Right. Right. Uh, is that right or wrong? Praise right. be to Allah, the Lord of the world. The God said, He is an example. Now, what does that mean? When white people saw two million black people standing there with all that dignity, white people won't end. That's right, right. boy. They won't end.
to the believer and a warning to the disbeliever. Yes. Oh, yes. Why do they do that? All right. They ain't talking about places and times. That's right. Because Pharaoh, according to the Bible, didn't live in the days of Noah. That's right. Huh? Didn't live in the days of Lot. God had to deal with that kind in history. That's right. Pharaoh was in the days of Moses. So Moses is on the scene today. Jesus is on the scene today. Muhammad is on the scene today. Yes, and you saw a transfiguration mm -hmm. on a mountain top of Elijah, mm -hmm. Jesus, and Moses. Come on, that's right. Right or wrong? Yeah, right. Yeah. Which means these three men are wrapped up in the one. Yes, sir. And when you see Elijah and Muhammad in his action, when you see fire come. That's right, sir. You see all three of these men. That's right. It's that. Wrapped up in one. Yes, sir. So Pharaoh's wife went out and told the believers, don't be acting treacherous with the man of God, because we'll call you to remain behind. Yes, sir. Like yes. Lot's wife and Noah's wife. Not a woman, but people. They use the word woman to describe a nation of people. Right. But ignorant people read that, oh, yeah, the woman, she said, she ain't no good. That's right. That's right. Did I come out of her womb? No. Why is she not really good? Right. You, make, you make yourself crazy. I break it down. Talking like that. You eat the Arab Muslim is crazy. They used to bury the woman child. That's right. So, they were so stupid. That's you know, right. One of the boy child, I don't know, the woman child put him. A hundred more sons on the earth. All right. All right. He's so stupid, he killed him once. He wanted a boy. <laughs> Such a foolish man. Praise you. So God had to come with some new revelations to these people. Right? Yeah. Let me read you something out of the Holy man, before I let you go. I know you want to go all night, but I can't go all night. <laughs> <laughs> come on, right? Uh, listen to this. <clears throat> this is what these proofs these people who believe we don't have real Islam. Elijah Muhammad and his family listen. <laughs> they don't make sense. You don't go home with me. Mm, right. Right. You know what I was praying. I do. You know what yes, I was right. These brothers and sisters pray. That's okay. right. Now that's the excuse us because we don't make sense. That he did the magic deed. We don't make sense. That God changed your old way. Yes, sir. Right. To a new way. We respect the principles of Islam. Yes, sir. The life of Islam said we've never changed the principles of Islam. But it's a different message. Yes, sir. Right. That's right. For a different time. That's right. That's right. For a different people. Yes. Right. right. Listen to what they say. This, whole, this scripture I'm going to read to you is in the 16th chapter in the Holy Quran, 101 verse through 103. Mm, what's that? Now, in the beginning of the chapter, say this chapter was revealed at Mecca. Okay. And the true one was revealed right. at Mecca. The old Mecca and the new Mecca. Look what it says. And when we change a message for a message. Come on, come on. That means something changed out. Yes, right. sir. And Allah knows best what he revealed. That's right. They say, disbelievers, that I only afford you. Mm. Nay, most of them don't not. Mm. See, when they, most of them hear something they never heard before, like when Elijah and Hunter came out, oh, he made that up. Mm. That's a forgery. Definitely. Huh? Look what it says. Say, the Holy Spirit has revealed it from that law with truth. Mm. See? That it may establish those who believe. That's right. And as a guide and good news for those who submit. That's right. The ones who believe get an established. You can't take what I know from me. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. You can't change me. That's right. Because God had established for it, had established me, this man, yes, and all right. other brothers and sisters. That's right. You can't right. change them and take them back to the old way of Islam. That's, That's right. right. That's right. 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 Because it's a message for, for people That's right. in this day and time. That's yes, right. Right. Look what it says. So the Holy Spirit has revealed it from the law with truth. Can't nobody prove it wrong. That's right. Can they? No, no sir. If I tell you God is a man, you can talk about abstract God's law you want. Right. Come on. But you can't.
day, bring him face to face with me. Yeah. What's that? Bring him! Call him! Elijah challenged in the Bible, challenged the prophets of Baal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. 450 of them. Elijah was by himself. Mm -hmm. He told the people, he said, long time. Yeah, we buried between the two opinions. He said, if God in half of the day, black time, we shall serve him. Yes, sir. And the people said, well spoken. Let it be. So Elijah told kill two birds and build an altar. You put one over here for the prophets of Bill, you put one over here for me. Yes, sir. And the God that has a back is the God that we shall serve. <laughs> then Elijah told him, you should call first, for you are 450, is only one of me. Mm -hmm. That's right. So they began to call, oh, Baal, oh, Baal, hear us! Started in the morning, morning hour, okay. around noon time, the intensive heat was coming down on them. And then Elijah began to make mockery. Hey, get a call, Bill, a little louder. <laughs> That's right. Pretty eventually, he may be on the journey. Then the prophets of Baal just come, oh, Baal, 450, here's Baal, here's Baal. Elijah was standing in the cool, in the shade, <laughs> making mockery. Oh, hey. He said, call him. <laughs> Pre-adventure, he may be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah was back. They called to the sun was going down in the evening. They jumped up, cut themselves, sacrificing blood, trying to get Baal an answer. Baal ain't answered yet, because Baal does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Right. So in, in the office, out on the altar and everything, the sun was going down. And the sun had got on the rim of the hill. Elijah had to have some sun to bring fire. Right. <laughs> so Elijah told him to fetch the altar. Yes, sir. With a pair of water. Well, that's right. They trenched him with a pair of water. Elijah said, drink it again. <laughs> with a pair of water, two times. He said, brother, drink it again. Yes, Three sir. times. <laughs> with a pair of water. Yes, sir. And the sun was going down on the rim of the hill, just a little bit left. So Elijah said, oh, heaven of fire. He ain't put a rock in the Here it is today that the people here that made me leave. Yes, Before sir. Elijah could get the words out of his mouth, the sun struck the altar with fire, burned the whole thing up and licked the water up and was down in the trenches. <laughs> and the prophets of Baal, wicked they were, they began to run. Because they had seen Elijah's God answer by fire. That's right. right. And so Elijah said, catch them all. Yes, sir. Take three times. 
You got three stages of development that you go into before you end with truth. That's, that's right. right. That's right or wrong. That's right. Listen to me now. That's right. The three trials of water mean three doses of divine wisdom. That's right. right. It's just like fire. Yes, sir. I mean the water and fire is simultaneously to wisdom. Yes, sir. And you had Master Farad Muhammad that right. led the charge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you had Elijah Muhammad that came along later. Yes, sir. Man, the book says it's expedient for you that I go away. Well, I'm not going. Go ahead. Come to us. Come on. Come on. Come on. So the high being when he comes, he'll lead you and guide you in all truth. That's right. When he comes. That's right. He'll take the mean and show it unto you when he comes. Yes, sir. He will justify my name and glorify me when he comes. Yes, sir. That's who it was for. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. To stand up for the 
and another. That's right. He can't tell me he ain't the devil. No, he can't. If I say he's the devil, if you not prove it. That's right. I'm proving it. That's right. I'm proving it. That's right. I'm proving it. That's right. That's right. I can prove all since you've been on the earth, nothing but blood. That's right. You've been on the level of blood. That's right. 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 Now, that part about Pharaoh's wife is in the 66th chapter of the Holy Quran. That's right. 10 verses and 11 verses. That's an example. Yeah. For the believers and the, and the disbelievers. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See, the first one said, Allah sets for her power for those who disbelieve. That's right. So he's trying to tell you, Pharaoh, why he believe in this. That's right. right. Huh? He says, the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot, they were both on the two of our righteous servants. That's right. And they acted treacherously toward them, so they availed them not against Allah, and it was said, enter the fire with those who enter. He telling the believers what happened the Noah's wife, which is a people. That's right. Not a woman, but a people. A people. That's, That's right. right. And then he said, and Allah sets forth an example for those who believe. That's right. The wife of Pharaoh, mm -hmm. when he said, my Lord, build for me a house with thee, huh, in thy God, and deliver me from Pharaoh and his wife, and deliver me from these iniquitous people. That's right. See, the people in Washington, the people that close up, yeah. they know how wicked yeah, the America is. That's right. So a lot of them won't out. Uh -huh. They'll send letters to Minister Park. Um, how, can they, how can they come in the nation of Islam? Mm -hmm. So we hold them out right now until you get ready. Yeah. That's right. We let them in here, you never get in here. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You never get in here. That's right. Brothers and sisters, a lot more I got, to, I got to say. I want to read this out of how deep and then I'm going to turn it back over to our dear brother. Prince, before uh, uh, we close out. That's right. Oh, really? Big time, brother. Big time. We got, we, oh, no, we got so much knowledge to tell you, brother. We couldn't tell it to you. We still stood, stayed there a thousand years. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Holy Quran said, this book right here, I'm reading, it said, all the seeds was in. That's right. Uh, and then add seven more seeds, seeds to it. it. That's right. And all the trees of the earth were pins. That's right. right. And I see the million of them coming down. That's right. Trees. That's right. The right. 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 all of was pins. That's right. So you couldn't exhaust the wisdom of Allah. That's, That's right. right. And I believe that I with believe my heart right. and soul. That's right. right. Because the more I learn, the dumber I realize I am. That's, That's right. right. The more you study, brothers and sisters, the dumber you realize you are. That's right. right. You go to chase and words, the root words, and all the world. You find out you dumb as hell. Yes. Right. <laughs> you don't eat them. It says, the messenger of Allah said, Our Lord bless and exalt is he to send every night to the nearest heaven, for the latter one third of the night remain, and say, Is there anyone who calls upon me so that I may accept of him who asked of me, so that I may grant him who seeks forgiveness of me, so that I may forgive him? We in a devil tone. That's right. You got to ask God for forgiveness. That's right. You're a hearty, proud nigga. Yeah. Then you don't ask God for forgiveness. Because we all, even in all our greatest of righteousness, the Bible said we ain't nothing but filthy rags before That's right. That's right. That's right. May all our blessings. I celebrate. Well, thanks a lot, sir.
So brothers and sisters, I'm up here now to try to raise a meager, humble honorarium to help him to get to his next poem. Yes. Come on, brother. Brothers and sisters, he has taught us well today. Yes, sir. You should have made sure that you brought somebody else out other than yourself. Right. We cannot practice incest here. We must share the wisdom of God. We cannot interrelate with our own family and our own kin. We got to go get the guy next door and the sister around the corner to come and hear the message of God. Is that right? All right. So we got to be lovers of self and others. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what we have to do. So who's going to help me now? I'm going to ask for some help. And I want you to